All right, I previously mentioned that I think light emitting materials are the most versatile of podium's artificial light types. So in this video, I wanna demonstrate a few of the ways I would typically use LEM materials in a scene. Now I've got this simple bedroom model opened up because this model is a good demonstration of three common use cases for LEMs. And this can be downloaded from the link below the video. Okay, so the first use case of LEMs is in visible light fixtures. Now, I'd say the majority of the pre-made light fixtures in Podium Browser actually use Omni or point lights as the light source. Remember, Omni lights cast light in all directions from a single point in space, so they're good for simulating a light bulb. However, a lot of light fixtures don't cast omnidirectional light, so they're better served by a square or rectangular light emitting material. So if I zoom in on one of these ceiling fixtures and color pick the material, we're gonna see that it's got an LEM power of about five. Grab the eyedropper, color pick, and it's set to five. Now, this isn't gonna be enough to illuminate the room on its own, but it's enough to indicate that these lights are turned on and give them a glowing appearance. The reason it's set so low in this case is that I knew I was gonna have a lot of light coming in through these windows, and so I didn't need these ceiling fixtures to be a primary light source. Really, I just wanted them to provide a small accent detail in the finished render. And this is what it looks like in the final image. So you can see how that provides a nice little lighting detail, even though it isn't necessarily contributing a whole lot to the overall illumination of the room. Now, obviously, this isn't how a light like this works in the real world. It would actually be constructed with a little LED light behind a plastic diffuser. But for our purposes in Podium, I think this is the best way to set it up. There's really no need to make things any more complicated than they need to be. And if you look through Podium Browser, on a lot of our commercial fixtures, we set them up exactly the same way. So if I download one of these into the model, place it here, and then color pick this surface material, we're gonna see that it's just an LEM with a light power of 100. And the light power is so much higher because this is a commercial light and it's meant to illuminate a much larger room. All right, so that's the first use case for LEMs. And if you're making custom light fixtures, I'd recommend constructing them this way anytime you need a fixture that's meant to cast flat, even illumination. Strictly in a technical sense, LEMs cause fewer rendering artifacts than the point lights do, so I tend to favor them whenever I can. Um, and another thing to keep in mind is that larger light sources cast softer shadows, so LEMs do provide a nice, soft, even, diffuse-looking illumination compared to point lights, which sometimes give you a more pronounced shadow pattern. Okay, the second example in this scene is the cove lighting feature right above the bed. Now, anytime you need cove lighting in Podium, you'll want to use an LEM light. For this example, I set it up in the simplest possible way. If I zoom in here, you can see that all I've done is created an indentation on the ceiling and then painted an LEM on the upper face. I've given it a yellowish color and a light power of eight. Of course, the color and light power are just something you'll have to play with in the context of your own scenes, but you can see how easy it is to set this up. Now, in reality, there are a lot of different ways to construct cove lighting. If you Google something like cove lighting profiles, you can see all these different variations in the construction of this light feature. Um, we see different profile shapes, different cove depths, different light angles. Sometimes the light is facing the ceiling, sometimes it's facing the wall. All these things can subtly change the way the light is distributed and spread. And it's up to you to experiment with different profiles if you think it'll benefit your images. But I just wanted to show you, for this example, the simplest possible way to create a lighting feature like this. And here's one more rendered example before we move on. All right, the last thing I wanna talk about is off-camera LEMs. So off-camera LEMs can be used to brighten or enhance the lighting in a scene by placing a large LEM panel somewhere where it will cast light into the scene but not be visible in the render. Uh, we sometimes call this fill lighting and the closest real world equivalent would be a photographer using a softbox to bring additional light into an interior space. So this is what a softbox looks like in the real world. It's just a light behind a large diffuser screen, and it casts nice, soft illumination. Photographers use it for studio lighting all the time, but it's useful anytime you need to brighten an interior without casting harsh shadows the way a direct flash would. 
Okay, so we can use LEMs exactly the same way in Podium. And in my opinion, this is one of the best ways to increase the amount of light in a dark interior. Um, so my preferred technique is to place an LEM directly outside any windows in the model. This way, we're basically amplifying the natural light that's already coming into the room instead of adding an arbitrary light source. So let me show you the difference this can make. Here's a render of the room using the interior default preset before I add any LEMs to the space. Now it's not actually that bad, just maybe a touch too shadowy. Uh, the darker overall light sort of emphasizes the cove lighting, which is cool, but let's say we want something a little bit brighter. What I can do is swing outside, draw a face right over this window shape, going to double click and make sure that's selected and then right click, make a group so that it's easy to select in the future. I'm gonna move this back just a few inches. That should be good. And now we just need to apply an LEM material. So come up here to the materials tray, click create a new material. I'll just call it window LEM. Click okay, we'll stick with a white color. And now this material does need to be painted to both sides of the face so that we don't block the shadows from the sun. So I'll double click this. Grab the paint bucket tool, we've still got that material selected. Paint, make sure that's on both sides, um, and I'll show you why in a second. So now we just need to give this some light power. I'll come up here to the Podium Material Properties dialog, and under LEM, we'll just give this a power of about 60 will be good, I think. And then I'm gonna click Hidden. This is the reason we needed that material to be painted on both sides of the face, because when I click apply, you're gonna see that this face becomes invisible. That's what the hidden option does. So now if I rotate around this face, you can see it's invisible from both directions and it's not gonna block any light from the sun. However, if this LEM material had only been applied to the face that's casting light into the room, but not on the other side, it would still be opaque from one direction. So let me show you what that would look like. Um, I'm just going to grab like a black material and I'm going to deselect this and then just make sure we paint it on only the back side of the face. Okay, so you can see this material is now opaque from the back side. However, if I zoom right around here, it's invisible on the side that has the LEM painted on it. So from inside the room, it looks like we've got this correct. It looks like we've got an invisible hidden LEM right outside the window ready to cast light into this room. But as I showed you, this is still opaque on the back side. So my point is make sure if you need a hidden LEM, you paint it on both sides of the face. Otherwise, it's going to block light from the sun. Okay, let's go back into the render camera and create a render of this scene. I'm not going to change any other settings. I'm just gonna see what the difference is with this added light from the LEM. All right, so here it is with that additional light from the LEM. So I'm gonna step through one more time. This was the original render before we added any LEM lighting. And this was the second one after we put that LEM panel right outside the window. Now, this was interior default, but if we go ahead and render it at full resolution with the interior high and then do some post-processing, we can end up with this, and this was the finished image that I ended up settling on. So one more time, original without LEM lighting, LEM added, and then interior high with a little bit of post-processing and color correction. Okay, so those are a few ways we typically use LEM lights. We use them for the ceiling light fixtures, the cove lighting over the bed, and then we placed an LEM panel right outside the window to bring some additional light into the room. Now this last technique actually works just as well in a room that doesn't have any windows at all. So if this room didn't have any windows, you could just place the LEM panel right behind the camera and it would have a very similar effect. Okay, I think that's gonna wrap up this video. Um, if you guys are interested in any additional examples, there is a tutorial on the ProWalker GPU page that sort of breaks down this exterior image. And I give a lot of examples of how I lit this using an HDRI background and then LEM lights to sort of light up the interior and give it this dramatic sunset look. I'll link this beneath the video. Um, it's rendered with ProWalker GPU, 
but the lighting between the two plugins is interchangeable. It uses the same lighting system, so you can move between Podium and ProWalker GPU with minimal changes. Um, so I just want to throw this out there as another example of LEM lighting um, in a much different sort of scene from what we've covered so far. Um, I show how I used LEM lights to create this bright focal point in the interior, and then we light the background with HDRI images, which is, as you know, a new feature in SE Podium version 2.6. All right, thanks a lot. I'll see you guys in the next video.